There then followed up the inside by Howard Blardy, who's just been shuffled back a little bit. And getting a bit closer is Dancing Doris, making the swing for home here, quarter of a mile left to go. Pozvolsky's now being driven along. Castle Dem is worked up, but is making headway. Purple sleeves of Howard Blardy now peeled out for a run. There then followed by Duke of Chalfont and the rest. Down towards the final furlong they go. It's Pozvolsky that's out in front. Howard Blardy's making good headway down the centre of the track and in between the pair. Castle Dem hasn't gone away. Inside the final half furlong they go. Far side, Pozvolsky's trying to battle back. Howard Blardy the near side, Howard Blardy's beginning to get up here. Howard Blardy in the shadow of the post. Tight wrongly. Pyramid Place is still ticking one or two off from the back as well. Inside the final quarter of a mile they go, and it's Jersey Grey now that goes on here, travelling very sweetly indeed to a pine who's now under maximum pressure in second. Pyramid Place continues to get closer. Final flight, Jersey Grey in a bit tight. Oh, a faller there was a pine when getting very tired, and it's Jersey Grey that leads to Pyramid Place in second. These two are well clear, well inside the final furlong now. Far side, Jersey Grey, Pyramid Place though is finishing very strongly. Jersey Grey in pyramid place. Jersey Grey really needs the line. Up towards the wire they go. Jersey Grey finding more just, I reckon, of a pyramid place. A tight for the tired. Huntsman's jog and Paddy Brennan over the far side now putting in a pretty good challenge. Big Penny and Huntsman's jog inside the final furlong they go. Big Penny is finding a bit extra out in front. And Big Penny by a length by a length and a half and raising up towards the line. Big Penny has beaten Huntsman's jog. Certainly Red was third. Then Rumblebee in third, for whom the whip is now drawn. Then Faustinovic in fourth. They're well on from the rest. Second last, Gleno. Hold that tort. Again, little to choose between them. Rumblebee is still not too far away in third. There then followed by Faustinovic. Down towards the final fence they come. Hold that tort. Just about the leader to Gleno. Gleno, though, is not going down without a fight. Hold that tort. Nodded. Here comes Rumblebee, though, finishing off strongly as well under Alexander Thorne. Down towards the closing stages. Towards the final half fill on they come. Gleno. Hold that tort. Gleno not on back beforehand. Now now goes on in the final half furlong, and it's Gleno by a length or so. Gleno beats hold that tort. The brass man travelling really strongly nearest to us. The brass man and three under through five, then Bally Millsy, then time to move on, and Impal who's boxing on at the one pace. Well inside the final quarter of a mile now. One more flight of hurdles to jump. Three under through five, just finding an extra gear there though, and jumped that one well. The brass man has gone from stra travelling strongly to being driven along. Then Bally Millsy in third, down towards the final half furlong they go now. Three under through five, looked briefly under threat but has skipped away from them in the closing stages. Three under through five to the brass man in second. Bally Millsy was third to retour in the green and yellow, making up a little bit of ground from the back. Making the turn for home, though, it's Bear Gills in the hands of Matt Griffiths, who leads. Two in second position, Red Rookie, Bear Gills and Red Rookie. Then Make Me a Believer, Frenchie Doulage is plugging on at the one pace, and then Take Your Time. Inside the final three furlongs, two more flights of hurdles left to jump. Bear Gills to it now. Again, jumped it well. Red Rookie somewhat ballooned it. Make Me a Believer could be the biggest threat now towards the far side as we look at them and then Frenchy Doulage but it's Bear Gills who's got a three or four length advantage here as they come well inside the final quarter of a mile one more flight left to jump Bear Gills out in front just running down it slightly didn't get over with a great deal of fluency but landed running fortunately for him and his supporters and Bear Gills is clear as they go well inside the final furlong now into the final hundred yards or so Bear Gills always travelled powerfully and in the end is going to win hard held to make me a believer in second take your time as battle tarty all the while though Robin gold is absolutely sluicing into this down towards the final flight they come now lily the pink robin gold the far side though still traveling very strongly at the final flight lily the pink out on patrol isn't going down without a fight the whip is now drawn on robin gold inside the final furlong they go lily the pink robin gold though was always traveling strongly and now the question's being asked she's responding really well and it's robin gold to lily the pink as they go to the line robin gold lily the pink out on patrol. out in front again over well champion chase in second then go as you please followed by kilpin down towards the final fence they come and it's Desk de Lille, Charlie Deutsch still with a two length advantage and a good leap at the last to go as you please and champion chase these three now settle down to the closing stages inside the final furlong and it's Desk de Lille, two in second position go as you please and Desk de Lille has got a little bit more, this has been beautifully judged out in front by Charlie Deutsch racing up towards the line, Desk de Lille takes out the last to go as you please in second, champion chase